This week I got a question from one of my students on Udemy regarding how to work with the random numbers and rand function to be specific when it comes to flow expressions. When I was looking into that I thought probably it's not much if I want to create a video for that. But then I thought I can make it more interesting than just creating some random numbers. What if we take it to the next level and create random characters or even one step further and create a random password? Let's look into that. In this video we want to start by creating random numbers using Microsoft Flow which is extremely easy. Then we want to use the random numbers to generate random characters. This is a little bit tricky when it comes to Microsoft Flow. Finally, we want to combine all of them together and generate a random password. Let's see how we can do it. As always, I go to flow.microsoft.com. I click on create and I want to create an instant flow and I give it a name called rand demo. I click on manually trigger the flow and I click on create. Perfect. So I have a button. When I click that button, it's going to run the flow. First, let's start by adding a compose control. So I type compose. Compose control actually composes a variable as the name says. So I can actually put the content inside it and it creates an object in memory for me. I click on input. Now I want to go to the expressions and here I use rand. Open bracket. Slide it here a little bit. And this random accepts two parameters, one minimum and one maximum. So basically inclusive, it says what is the smallest number that you want me to return and what is the biggest number that you want me to return. So I start between 10 and 20 and I click on OK. If I save it, I can test it. Let's see what it returns. Save and test. Run flow. Done. I come back here and I see it returns me 16, for example. Let's test it again and see if this time it returns a different number. Run flow. Done. And this time it returns 13. So basically it generates a random number. I'm happy with that. So generating the random numbers is very easy. But what if you want to generate random characters? If you are coming from programming background, probably you are looking into, okay, let's, uh, let's get the ASCII code for character A and add the random number from 0 to 25. So it should, okay, forget about it. These things do not work in Flow. At least as of today that you're working with Flow, we cannot get and work with the ASCII codes of characters. There is one simple way left for us. Now let's take it to Flow. I click on edit. We generated the random number. I'm happy with that. I don't need that anymore. So let me just delete this one. To work with the random character, I need to save an array of characters in a variable. So let me add a new step. So I create initialize. I'm using initialize variable and the variable is going to be all characters. Type is going to be array and inside this for the value I need to put an array with all characters. So character A comma character B comma Z. So I have an array of characters that I can put it in a variable type array and it's called all characters. Let me save it and see if this array works first. So I add a new step and this new step is going to be compose again. Easiest thing I can do. Click and this time if I go to the expressions, I need to take the variable that I have here. I really don't want to go through the hassle of picking the internal name. So here's the trick. If I just put a space here when I'm under expression, 
I can click back on the dynamic content and I can pick the variable. And then I go back to the expressions and continue. So I remove the space that I put it there to trick the designer. And here, if I put, for example, I need the first element of this array, array is a start with zero, it should return me A. Let me click on OK, save, and test it. I click on test, save and test, run flow, done, and this one should show me character A. Let's try it with a different number. If I click on it and I go back here, instead of zero, if I put one and click on update, save, let's run it again, save and test, run flow, and it should return me character B. So far, so good. I'm very happy with that. I click on edit again, and let's make it randomize. So when I click on variables, instead of hard coding a number here, instead of one, I replace it by random, open the bracket, anything between zero and 25. They have 26 characters in English alphabet, so I can use this random. So if I click on update and save again, this time if I te test it, run flow, done, and it returns Q, for example, this time. Let's try it again. Save and test, run flow, done, and this time it returns C. Fantastic. We are done with a random character generator. Now let's put them together and generate a random password. I go back to the same flow. I click on edit. And for this compose, I want to click on variables. When I'm under expressions, I have one character. I remove this. I need to concat. And if I open the bracket, and actually it has two overrides. If I go to the second one, you can see you can put unlimited number of strings together, and this is gonna combine all of them together. So let's do it this way. If I say one, comma, two, comma, three, comma, four. So I can show you in Notepad. This is what we have, concat. So this is first character, random second character, random, third character, fourth character, and we're good. So let's get back to flow. I click on update and I click on save. Now I click on test again, save and test, run flow, done. And if I open the compose, you will see my XX, uh, okay, mildly inappropriate. Let's try something else. Test again, save and test, run flow, done. And you can see we got O-N-K-N, any four characters. Now, if you want to play a little bit more with it, you can go back to this. You can convert it to upper character. So for this one, I go for the first character. I say to upper. open the brackets. I have the first variable random and up to here. And I close the to upper function. Let me show you again here in Notepad. So first parameter, it's using to upper. So whatever the character that I have is going to be uppercase. And again, let's go back here. I click on update. Let me make sure we got it right. Perfect, save. And now if I click on test, test and save, run flow, done. And if I go to compose, I get a four random, I get four random characters that the first character is uppercase. Of course, you can combine it with numbers or whatever else you want. You wanna take it to the next level, Let's make it a little bit more complex now that we've come so far. So if I go to the last one, comma, 
this time instead of oh gosh I hate this so I go to the very last one and I want to add a random number so comma rand I open it open the brackets anything between 0 to 9 and of course you need to convert it to string because now it is a now it is a number string and I'm converting this last parameter to string let's save it update what did we miss string random and okay we are missing one uh, bracket here update and we're good to go let me click on it make sure everything is correct concat all these things and at the end I have a random number between 0 to 9 update save now let's test it save and test run flow done and now you have a random password for example that has one uppercase and has one random number in the end in this case we got one if I try it again probably we will get something different let's give it a shot and now we have W F L L 6 that was easy wasn't it I'm sure you noticed that in this video I'm using expressions a lot from creating a variable of type array that accepts a JSON representation of the array navigating through the elements and finally using the expressions and calling the random function inside an expression are the things that typically people don't learn it by trial and error and as bits and pieces for that I actually have a course I have a course called master Microsoft flow expressions in two hours the course is not actually two hours it's slightly longer than two hours of lecture but overall the core of the course is actually two hours I put the link to that course in the video description take a look into that and the discount coupon is included thank you for watching stay tuned till the next video